In this video, I will demonstrate a square knot using two hands as a right-handed person. And we'll use this nice toolbox uh, as an anchor point for the suture. Let's pass the sutures. First of all, you have to understand right off the bat that one must cross the sutures to start with. Because if you don't cross it to start with, uh, it's hard to get the, uh, the first throw of your square knot down. It's hard to get it down to make it flat. I'll demonstrate later. But here, always understand that you, you start with the two strands crossed. You take your left hand and take one strand and make that your upper hand, upper side, and your right hand for the lower strand on the lower side. So this configuration, because when you tie it down, because it's crossed to start with, your throw will be flat. If you don't start off crossed, here's what happens. It's not crossed at all, and when you tie it down, your throw is not flat. You have to cross your arms or switch hands to make it flat. So, and that's cumbersome. That's not the real way of, of doing things. So let's start over. Let's start your strands crossed. Okay? Take one strand, upper hand, left. Other strand, lower hand, right. Cross them like this. And so first throw, what you want to do is you take your index finger as your anchor point. However, these fingers have to hold the string tight so that the, the string doesn't move on your index. Your index has to be a stable point. Now you can grab the sutures like this and do this way. Over time you learn how to uh, finagle the suture so that it goes around the dorsal part of your ring finger under your middle finger, okay, and actually, ideally, something like this, so that you have a nice anchor, anchorage of the other end of the suture of the strand, so that it's stable to your index, index finger. This is a very important point. Then you cross, you create a cross. Okay, your goal is to get this end through this loop. So the best way to do this is you pinch your index and thumb, okay? You pinch. Notice how this, the cross is between the two digits. You pinch and you come across and you pass the strand to the index and thumb and bring it through. And that's how you get the first, the very first throw. Let's repeat that. So you cross, left hand on one strand up, right hand the other strand down, anchor your end of your suture over your index finger, cross, thumb and index finger together, come under the loop, Pass the strand back through the loop. Nice and flat. So now that you master this throw, let's go with the other throw of the square knot. And I suggest that you practice this first throw over and over again, like this if you will. Just do that. And that way you can uh, be comfortable before proceeding with your uh, second throw. So here's the second throw. Okay, now you got this throw flat. What you want to do, again, stabilize this end of this suture to these three digits or two digits. Use your thumb this time, not your index, but your thumb as anchor point. 
This strand now, instead of going under, you go over to create a cross. So your goal is to get this suture around this loop. So you can do it this way, but it's really cumbersome. So you have to do it the easy way, the right way, the surgeon's way is to grab, pinch, index the thumb, across the loop, hand it off, hand off the strand, and come back under it. And that completes your square knot. See, it doesn't slip, it's a, it's a strong knot, it's a non-slip knot. Once it's down, it's down. So, let's repeat. Stabilize suture over index finger, go under to create a cross, bring these two through the, the index of thumb, through the loop, grab the strand, pass it through. Next step, use your thumb, take this strand, create a cross, pinch, come under, pass the strand, back across. And you do this over and over to say to create your square knot. And that's how you tie a two-handed square knot, which is a surgical knot. Thank you.